guys, what's going on? Very excited. Yes, I am, because I am at this place right here. SNS Fire and Safety. And I found two fire extinguishers because you guys have been telling me to get a fire extinguisher to make crucibles out of. So hopefully uh, these are good. I think that they are gonna be. Hopefully uh, I need to see if Zeke has a way to cut these things. I'm not sure if he does or not. But uh, if he does, we're going to cut them, and those are going to be some awesome crucibles so that I can do more molten aluminum videos. You guys seem to be liking the molten aluminum videos. Do y'all like them? Yes? Tell me. Let me know. <laughs> Apparently y'all do, because y'all are the ones that gave me the idea for the, the fire extinguisher, because y'all saw it on some other videos. So I'm very excited about this. All right, guys, the real question. Does it fit? Does it fit in my... Uh, forge that we have I didn't think about that I think it might and hopefully I can get some briquettes around it because that's kind of important oh yeah that's gonna fit oh yeah look at that and I think I have plenty of room for briquettes very nice Issue is this thing's heavy. Hopefully, I'll be able to pick this thing up. Oh, it's got stuff in it. So I don't know much about fire extinguishers, but all of this was in it. All the powder stuff. I got a bottom of a bag full here. I thought that was crazy. I think that's where a lot of the weight came from too, because it's definitely not as heavy, which is good. There's number two. Let's open him up. Do you have any suggestions of what I can do with this stuff? I don't even know what it is. If you guys know anything about fire extinguishers, let me know down in the comments below what this stuff is and if there's anything I can do with it besides pour molten aluminum on it. <laughs> that could be fun. <laughs> All right, guys, we are going down to Zeke's house to see if we can get that fire extinguisher cut. I called him up and he said he thinks he can do it, so we're gonna try and make something happen. <laughs> All right, guys, I made it to Zeke's house. I showed him the fire extinguishers. He seems to be impressed. <laughs> Look at my big fire extinguisher. This one's heavy. So we're trying to see if it was uh, older or something. Actually, look, the years on this say 92 to 97. Maybe that has something to do with it. So we're going to cut this thing. Put a stripe on it. Yeah, and give us a, a target. There you go. Oh, and I also wanted to ask you. That cast iron pot that we used for the lemon? Yeah. Can I borrow it? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. You gonna do a hammer? Yeah. All right, do it, man. What you gonna hammer? Um, that wood. The wood? Mm-hmm. Mm. Can you give me another tool? Cutting? Yeah? Hey, buddy! Alright guys, we're cutting the other one, and apparently it's aluminum. It's not sparking and it's super light. So I'm excited about that. More to melt. So Zeke even hooked me up with a backup one here. This is the top, and he, we put a little nut going down through there to cover up the hole. So we should have a nice secondary uh, cu uh, uh, cubicle, I want to say cubicle, <laughs> crucible right here. Exciting. Thanks for your handiwork. You're welcome. I recommend uh -huh. putting the washer on the inside if it does, if you can. Oh, really? Because uh, it'll just, it's easier to keep things from flowing in than it is to hold them up. I figured the aluminum would get caught underneath the washer whenever I go to pour it, but I could be wrong. Oh, you know, Since I'm pouring probably, that yeah, way though, it may not. Probably when the plastic is off, you'll be able to see how good of a seal it'll make. Oh, that's true. Because uh, it does have a little lip. If that lip is metal, then this is probably the, a good, the good way to do it. Okay. Um, I'll play with it. Because uh, oh, that's what it was. What? I don't know if that nut is going to go through the hole. 
because the plastic ring is about that big, mm -hmm. so that nut from this angle oh, may yeah, okay. the other way I gotcha. is what I was thinking. But I gotcha. yeah, take it off and then see. Okay, yeah, I'll play with it. Yeah. And, and at some point, it'll probably, once it gets hot, it'll rust all and just become like it's just one piece of metal. Right, right. A big rusty hunk. Maybe I could uh, get another washer, put one on the inside, one on the yeah. outside, just for security. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. When all else fails, that'll take off a zombie's face. Right, exactly. During the apoc oh. the zompocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> Put this on a drill on the edge. <laughs> Have this turning blade of death. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Everywhere. Cool. Thanks again, man. You're welcome. Appreciate all it. Alright. So do y'all remember that crucible that I had during the beginning of this video? You want to see what it looks like now? Boom!